whenever people tell me how great a country, the country below Canada is, I feel embarrassed that I was ever raised in such a country. It's unbelievable the stuff that comes out of these people's mouths in regards to, you know, the president or the National Rifle Association or, you know, it's like there's this total lack of morality. They clearly don't care. What they care about is that they get what they want and they make it very clear, you know, like when they're being interviewed that it doesn't matter how they get it, we don't care, we got it, that's it. But that's not freaking cool, guys. This isn't, of course, just people in Trump's base. I'd say the majority of people like that are, would be in Trump's base, but still, like, my question is this. You really think it was freaking funny or, like, you know, you laugh that Trump sent bombs? You're like, oh, ha, 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 Hillary's gonna get bombed. Really? That adds to the problem, guys. United States? Really? Because I don't see any unity going on. I don't see people being united. I see Trump's base pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing the non-Trump Republicans, such as myself, or the Democrats, further and further and further away by calling them horrible names, killing them, you know, showing the absolute utmost disrespect, horrible things. Why do you have to do that, Trump's base? Let me ask you, Trump's idiotic, stupid people base. Why do you have to frickin' do that? Serious, why? Why? Why do you have to go around hating? You, Trump's base, you are the main problem here. This isn't me. I'm not spreading hate towards you guys. I'm spreading the truth. You, Trump's base, are being very hateful and disrespectful. We the people are supposed to form a more perfect nation. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. I don't want to hear that lie anymore. I'm tired of hearing that lie. It's a lie. We're not forming a more perfect nation. We're forming a more perfect hell. That's what we're literally doing. We're forming a more perfect hell. We're not forming any nation, any good nation at all. <laughs> a big problem with that is Donald Trump. Aren't you guys at all bothered by the fact that he's trying to put all these like tariffs and bans on our allies and important countries that we do business with like China? You have to realize this guys, the more tariffs we put on China, the more and more China is going to pull back from being our ally and you know if China ends up, you know, completely becoming an enemy, which they're not, they're China, as of right now, is not an enemy of us, nor are they an ally of us. They're like in the middle. But if China completely becomes an enemy, if they attack us, we're screwed. We are totally screwed. Completely screwed. There's no way the U.S. military would be able to stand up to China's military. China has over a billion people. You know how many we have? Not even half a billion. China would demolish us just like that. Just like that, China would demolish us. In fact, so would North Korea. And that's one of the problems I have with Trump. He's going around giving our ally, literally doing this to our allies, but then he's demanding, he's demanding that we be allies with North Korea. No, I don't want a president who's gonna have us be allies with North Korea. North Korea is a horrible freaking place to grow up. Even Vladimir Putin, a guy who's also so a big dictator, he is even scared of North Korea, okay? Vladimir Putin, a guy who is, you know, messing with Trump as well, you know, a guy who's controlling what Trump says and does, even Putin is scared of the fact that Trump is going around, you know, trying to be all buddy buddies with Kim Jong-un. You don't know anything about what Kim Jong-un has done to not only his citizens, but to his own family members. He treats them all like shit. Like shit. I'm scared. Guys, I am scared. Every day, I feel scared that I'm not gonna, that I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna find my family all dead. 
That's how I feel because of Trump trying to buddy up with North Korea and with him going around giving our allies the middle finger and saying to them, oh, fuck off, you know, fuck off England, fuck off Canada, fuck off Japan. That's what he's doing. He's actually doing that. Yeah, he's trying to find peace with North Korea by becoming allies with them. That's why he's having peace talks with Kim Jong-un. So Kim Jong-un will become his best buddy and then he'll turn everything around on Trump, which is exactly what his plan is. I guarantee you that is his plan. He's gonna turn everything around on Trump and then Trump is gonna say, but I don't wanna kill my citizens. And Kim will say, well, you decided to become my friend. So this is what's gonna happen if you become my friend. And then, you know, we're screwed, okay? We are screwed unless we get China and Japan to back us up in a battle with North Korea. We are screwed. You guys say, oh, the US military is the most powerful in the world. No, no it isn't. It actually hasn't been for quite some time. China's military is more powerful than we are. I'd say Japan's is too. And I would definitely say North Korea's is. But if we were to team up with China and Japan, we could easily beat North Korea. But I don't want us to have a frickin' war. I don't want that. It's frickin' horrible. And you, Trump space, you are not fucking helping make the country great again by going around calling people all these horrible, disgusting names. You're not fucking helping. You aren't. I know I said I wouldn't swear, but in this video, I'm sorry, I'm swearing. If you're bothered by it, then you don't have to fucking watch. You're not fucking helping the problem. You aren't, okay? I'm scared, and it's because of people like you that I am scared every day. I fear for my own fucking life. I fear for my own family's life. But I continue to get up every day and fight back. I say, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let that fear completely control my life. I'm still gonna get out and do stuff and get out there and save and educate other people about why we live in such a disgusting, vile nation. I'm not proud. I am not proud to be a US American or let alone an American in general. I'm not proud of it. I am not proud. Don't you fucking dare tell me, well, you should be proud of it. You have freedom, okay? Fuck freedom. Fuck freedom and everything about it. Everything about it. Fuck all of it. I don't want any of it. I want it gone. Our freedom is based on lies. I don't want freedom based on lies. I don't want freedom based on murdering others to gain our freedom. That's not what freedom is. But that's what freedom does. And it's sickening. But I'm not gonna wish any of you dead or violence. I'm not. Because unlike you, I actually want peace in this world. I actually want us, the United States, to get rid of all of our nuclear weapons, to get rid of all of our weapons in general, and become a peaceful nation. I want the gun control so kids can be safe at school. Look at, you look at the death rate, you look at the death rates by gun in England, it is so, so, so small compared to ours because England actually has enough fucking sense to elect gun control. The whole United Kingdom, basically all of Europe has gun control. The country below Canada doesn't have any and they don't care to because they don't care about your fucking children. They don't. I care about your children. I care so much about your children. No, I don't own a gun because I'm not an idiot and I don't want to look weak. Guns only make you look weak. They do. I mean, if you're going to fight back with somebody, you have fists, legs, and teeth for a reason. You can fight back with those. You don't have to resort to a gun. You don't have to resort to killing. But you do. But guys, this isn't just Trump's base that does this type of stuff. It's not. It's not just Trump's base. You have to understand that. 
Trump space is a huge part of the problem, yes. I'd say more than like 80% of the problem, but it's not completely Trump's base. It isn't. You know, there are tons of Hillary supporters who want to completely like bomb the White House. That's not gonna solve anything. We can't bomb or send bombs to those we do not like. I don't send bombs over to North Korea. I don't. I, I fucking hate North Korea. But I don't send bombs over there because that's not gonna fucking help. That will not fucking help. You guys have to understand I'm telling you this because I care about you. And I care about what happens to you. You know, when you people say, oh, well, then why don't you leave and put my family in danger? I'm not going to freaking hear that. I am not going to hear that. I, I'm smart enough to stay back and fight for what is morally correct. And what is morally correct is a president who goes around and says, I will negotiate to try and find peace with North Korea. But at the same time, a president who doesn't give our allies the middle finger and tell them to fuck off and a president who doesn't demand that the leader of North Korea be praised like a god. I fight so I can get that part back every day. You know? You people in Trump's base are just so hateful. You're just so fucking hateful. Enough is fucking enough. You're not funny, okay? You're not clever. You're not smart. You're just fucking stupid and I don't care I don't care if that hurts your feelings that's what you are I'm telling the truth when I say that you're just fucking stupid but listen guys I don't think that any of you should be dead I don't we can all learn okay we, we can all learn to be better people. We all make mistakes. Me, I make mistakes every day. People make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes every day, at least. At most, I mean. See, I just made a mistake there, but... See, I corrected myself. A lot of you people are afraid to admit your mistakes. Like, don't be afraid, guys. If you're afraid to admit your mistake, that you voted for Trump and you know that you voted for him and that you know what he did and you're just too afraid to admit it, don't be afraid. Because I'll totally understand where you're coming from if you say that. But you, seriously, you need to stop spreading the hate, okay? I don't hate you guys, I'm just telling you the honest truth. Yeah, you are fucking stupid for spreading hate. You're fucking stupid idiots for going around spreading all the fucking hate. That makes you a fucking stupid idiot. It didn't fucking help when Trump won, okay? First off, by cheating. Second, by getting a bunch of you fools to believe all this shit. Where's this health care? Where's the health care he promised? I don't I don't have any health care. Health care is shit. We don't even have it. And if we did, it's so damn expensive. It is it is so damn expensive. But I I you know, I can't even look at Trump. He makes me sick. But at the same time, I refuse to go down there to the White House and blow up the White House because I'm, I'm not going to, I don't believe in that. That is just wrong. I don't want that, guys. You know, Trump is going to learn the hard way one day. He is. He's going to learn his lesson and you people, hopefully, every single one of you who supports him, will realize the big giant mistake you made and maybe you'll realize that maybe Trump really wasn't that great and that yeah, he was a horrible danger not just to us, but to the world. Like, haven't you guys noticed how like it's the, how basically it's like a large number of 
of people in this country are going around saying, you know, oh, yay, Trump, but then the rest of the world is basically telling us to fuck off. I don't blame the rest of the world because we've got a violent prick in office. I don't want that, guys. And I have the right to say this. You guys can say, oh, you can't talk like that, really? The one thing I enjoy about my freedom is I can trash talk my government all I want and I don't feel my government is doing a good job of keeping me safe as a citizen. I think they're doing a, a fantastic job of putting me in danger and my family's lives in danger. I think they're doing such a fantastic job with that. If people were actually stupid enough to give them a reward for something like that, I'd give them first place because that is what's happening, okay? That is what is happening. Why won't you guys listen? I at least listen to Trump supporters when they try to defend him, but you Trump supporters won't even frickin' listen. Like what, you're not listening because what? Is your gut telling you that, yeah, he is a bad person and that, you know, maybe you made a mistake and maybe you voted for somebody who's you know, dangerous, like psychotic, mentally insane. Is that really, I think that's, I know that's what your gut is telling you when you guys don't listen to people who don't like Trump. That yeah, you voted for him, but you just can't face the facts that like you've made a mistake and you totally voted for the wrong person. Guys, Hillary Clinton is not a bad person. She's not. She's a hell of a lot better than Donald Trump. Even Castro. Castro would be better than Trump. Castro would be better than Trump. Okay? I'd rather have Castro as my president than Donald Trump. Okay, I'm serious. I would rather have Castro as my president. I'm a socialist, and neither of the Castros were actually bad people. <laughs> they weren't. They did a lot of very good things for the Republic of Cuba. But you guys are reading the wrong news sources, so you wouldn't know that. You guys are reading the wrong sources in general, so you wouldn't know the, the good things that they did for Cuba. They did so many great things for Cuba. Cuba has the best medicine in the entire world. Our medicine is shit. It is fucking shit. But guys, really, like, we have to understand that not everybody is the same, okay? Not everyone is the same. And some people are really, really messed up. And I'll be quite honest that, yeah, they are stupid idiots, but I feel really bad for them that they can't realize the good ways of this world. The ways of how we can be, you know, better, not just for us, but for everything and everyone. That's a huge problem, guys. I live in fear, but you fucking Trumpers don't fucking care. You don't fucking care because you got what you wanted, okay? You got that conniving sackwad of vile scum, murderer, psychotic fuckwad as your president. You got what you wanted. You got what you fucking wanted. Okay? Can't you move on now? Can't you just stop making jokes? Seriously? You're not funny, okay? You're not funny. Some things people just should not joke about because it's just not funny. Michelle Obama and the... The Obamas and the Clintons dedicated their lives to politics. The rest of their fucking lives. And you guys sit there making these stupid jokes that they're not funny. They're just fucking stupid. They are. They're just fucking stupid. It makes me concerned more than it makes me mad, honestly. But if you guys don't listen to reason, maybe you shouldn't be talking either way, honestly. Because I'm listening 
I'm willing to listen to reason, you know? I'll listen to what people have to say about Donald Trump, about the good things he's doing, and then I'll say the bad stuff that he's doing, but then they don't even listen. I actually have the fucking decency to go around listening to what you idiots all have to say. You need to fucking stop, okay? Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Just fucking stop, okay? Just stop with the hate, okay? And with the violence, and stop making jokes about stuff like that, because th that's those are serious problems. Definitely not just in this country, more so in this country than most other countries, but throughout the world, those are both serious, serious problems. And you guys just sit there and you're like, oh, oh yeah, you know, it's hatred. Oh, that's so funny. Ha ha ha. If you're not a funny person, don't try and make a joke, okay? And then when you hear it over and over and over and over again, it's redundant. It's definitely not funny. I mean, it isn't, and it's unoriginal. Can't you think of anything more original to say, stupid? Seriously, you all sound like a bunch of idiots. You do. But I'm only saying this to help you. Because I do care about you. I do. I'm not going to wish you guys any form of violence or any form of hatred or any, like, ill fate. Because I'm not an idiot. You are, but I'm not. Okay? You are. Hi, precious. But I'm still a peaceful person. Okay? I am. I'm a peaceful person. I firmly believe in peace for all, but I can't really find that when I'm living in fear of violence and hatred every single day of my life. It doesn't matter what day it is. Every day I wake up fearing for my life. I go to sleep fearing for my life. That's how it is for me. This is a huge problem and I recommend you guys all listen to this. Seriously. Because this is a really big problem for me. You guys need to open up your hearts a little bit more. I'm not saying that you all are like this, but the majority of you, you just talk, you just talk shit. The majority of you Trump supporters, and it's not just Trump supporters, again, it's not just them. You talk like idiots. The majority of you do, not all of you. I understand a lot of you mean well, but really? Attacking others because they don't agree? Really? Like, are you trying to send us back to, like, Nazi Germany? Because that's what Nazi Germany did. They attacked those. They murdered those who didn't agree with them. You're not helping. You're adding more to the problem by attacking people and by calling the other side these horrible, disgusting names. Way worse than what I called you guys way worse, okay? I'm at least being brutally honest. You guys should not go around showing disrespect to the other side. I'm a Republican, and I'm saying that this is how it looks for most Republicans. They're all just idiots. They are. They're just idiots. The majority of them are just idiots. I can't, guys, I can't handle this. I can't freaking handle this, but I'm going to continue to fight to keep myself and my family safe. No, I'm not going to leave until my family's ready to leave. When they're ready to leave, then I will leave with them. And I will go live in a much more sensible, peaceful country than the one I'm living in right now. Because I am not proud of what this dump has come to. And yeah, it's a big dump. It's a huge dump. You guys need to, you know, you need to get serious help. You know, if you really think that it's okay for Trump to win the presidency, if you're not bothered by the fact that Russia interfered on Trump's side in our election, you really need to get some serious mental help. You really need to get some serious, 
serious mental help. But guys, I don't wish violence or death upon you. I don't. I really don't. Okay? We need to stop spreading hate. You can slightly express your hatred like I'm doing, but don't just every day go around doing that. I don't do that every day. I usually keep my mouth shut because I don't want to get shot. I don't want to get shot and killed. That's why I just keep my mouth shut for the most part because I don't want to get shot and killed. I'm actually smart and I actually choose to keep myself safe and out of harm's way. Anyways guys, look, I really do want you all to have a peaceful day, okay? And about that stuff that I said earlier, I'm not gonna apologize for it because that's literally the way it is. And you're not helping. But again, remember, this is not just people in Trump's base. Everybody contributes to it at some point. I have in the past, but I don't anymore because that's not morally correct. It's wrong. You need to really stop, you know, spreading hate being violent, joking about these bombs that were sent to these people. Bombs? That's not something you joke about, okay? It was those kind of jokes that led us to all the wars we've had, especially World War I and World War II. And if you're gonna joke about that, we might as well start World War III. You really want World War III? Really? You want World War III? That's not freaking cool. I am honestly hoping that humanity is long extinct and humankind is long extinct before World War III ever even comes up in general world discussion. Oh, but wait, it already has. Because we have such a corrupt, violent jackass in the fucking White House. But I'm not gonna go hurt him. I'm not. I'm really not, because that is wrong, and as somebody who has a fucking heart, I don't believe in that, and I really hope this video encourages you guys to do the same. I'm not spreading hatred, I'm spreading the truth, but anyways guys, I really hope all of you, I don't care what your beliefs are, any of that, I hope every single one of you has a peaceful day. I'm being dead serious. I want all of you to have a peaceful day and I want you to listen to what I just said. Anyways guys, I'm signing off now. Thank you for watching. Bye.